Hello, and welcome to an intro to Tinkercad. I have done one video like this before. However, Tinkercad has changed its website just slightly. And I just wanna make a quick video to show you what you can expect when you get here. So if you click on login, even if you don't have an account, you're gonna have some options here. So personal account, student accounts, students with class code and educators. If you clicked on login and you get an error message or it's blocked, there is a good chance your school has blocked Tinkercad. And the only way you can do it, if they allow it at all, is for you to click on another button. And that would be, <clears throat> that would be going through a link. So kind of like this right here, I have a Google Classroom set up with the link and this link is unique to your class. Your teacher has their own information and they can click on it. And if your teacher is giving you a nickname to use, then you can log in with that nickname and no, none of your personal information will go into the, the software here unless they have it set up another way. But this is usually the way that uh, teachers have set it up so that you can go in if it is blocked. However, let's imagine that it's not blocked and here you go. You're not an educator, but if you are, you can go ahead and create an account there. This, will, this one here will allow you to create classes and then you can control what the students do and can't do, stuff like that. <clears throat> if the teacher has posted a class code, then this is the one you want and you just type in the code that's in the front of the class. <clears throat> then students with an account, okay? So you can create a personal account if you're not with the classroom. Or, uh, you know, if your teacher tells you to use that, use that. Now, in my class, we would use this. I would give them a nickname and they would join with a nickname. Okay, so once you um, are in, I'm gonna use mine so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna go with my username. And then my password. Hopefully I can remember it. And I think I did. Yes, very nice. So here are your options. You can join a class, enroll. You have designs, tutorials, collections. If you've never done Tinkercad, you have a choice. You could just go with the tutorials and it'll walk you through some crazy stuff if you're not ready for it. Now the designs, you have some options. I've already created a bunch of junk in here. So if this is your first time, you will just have, I believe, four blocks here. The first one's gonna say new, right? But you also have the new button here. When you click a new button here, it's for 3D designs. Now, if you're into circuits, you can click here and just start you know, playing with what they have or code blocks, which is another way of creating things in, with Tinkercad. You can click here again for your new one or click here, which is gonna give you the same three options. Now, if you wanna explore some, the gallery is gonna show you other things that students have created and posted to Tinkercad for you to look at and even download. Make sure that your parents or teachers allow you to print stuff that you've downloaded in my class. You can only print stuff that you have designed. Here are some projects where they challenge you to do certain things and create them and then see if you can get the same results. Some very interesting projects here. And of course, if you have a classroom, you want to join a class, your teacher's giving you the information, then there you go. You can do that. I have my classrooms here and of course, resources, tips and tricks, blogs, lesson plans, all that stuff. But let's just say you're here to tinker. We're going to do some 3D designs. So start tinkering. I'm going to go to my designs again. This is the part where you get to actually design stuff. You click on new 3D design. Now, once here, this is your shapes library. These are the basic shapes and you have a variety of other shapes. Feel free to click on any of those and see what you can do. Well, now, no matter what you choose, you're just gonna click and drag it onto the platform here. And whenever you are done, you're gonna export as an STL. And then for me, I have, I, it asked me where I want to save it. Usually in, in some computers, it'll just save it to your downloads file and it'll give you a little sign right here with the name of the project, which is right here. And then a little arrow 
if you click the little arrow, it will actually show you, it will give you the option to say show in finder. That's where it shows you where, where everything is. So then you can find it. Um, send to, let's say that you want to send it to a teacher and say, Hey, can you look at what I've done? You want to invite people. Again, let me go here because it's send to scroll down to the bottom, invite people going to generate a new link. You're going to copy that link and then you're going to open up your email and paste that link. Okay. There are other tutorials that show you all the other things that uh, Tinkercad can do. I recommend you watch that one. And uh, yeah, those have not been changed. So I hope you enjoy playing with Tinkercad. 